Hey guys, Deb here with Art and Grace. I forget it every time. You can go back to any video. <laughs> and I almost never have my mic on. Hello, come on in. I'm happy to be with you guys this morning. Happy Monday. Let me know that you're here and watching live. Um, I love seeing you guys pop in. You know that. And I try really hard to go back and always say hey to you. So even if you watch the replay, you can say that and let me know. Hi, Liz. How are you feeling today? I know you must be feeling a little better because you have supposedly been resting, right? So let me know. Hi, Cheryl. Glad you're here. You're finally alive. I'm so glad to hear. <laughs> so glad to hear it. Come on in, guys. I've got a really sweet project, I believe, and I'm going to give you guys the tracer for this one. Um, it's going to be one that you can make your own. You can do lots of things with it. So this will be our tracer for June. I give away a free tracer every single month. You just go to my website. Now, if you're in my private group, you get it inside the group. So no need to go to the website. But if you're not, you can always count on getting one every month on my website. Just go to the website and it will say that month's tracer. So you could sneak in there today and get May's. And then also later today, I'll be putting this one for June. So, ready? You guys ready? Hi, Carol. Hi, Sherry. Hi, Germaine. So, oh, it's rainy there. Hi, Miss Edith. Glad to see you. Thank you for spreading the love and blessings. It really is a huge blessing when y'all do that. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, Donna and Cheryl. Hi, Brenda VIP. Hello, Felicia. Thank you, Christy, for sprinkling. Hi, Luana and Trisha. Good to see you. Um, good morning or afternoon whichever wherever you live so different coast different time it is about lunch time for me and i'm going to be doing this every monday this month coming live at noon central so you want to be sure and join me i have something special planned every monday this month so i'm just kind of making it a lunch time thing you know so join me every monday at this time Hello, hello. Hi, Patty. Hi, Diana. Your t-shirt writing is backwards, isn't it? Let's just see if we can fix that. It usually will not let me when I'm live. Darn it. It sure is, and it won't let me. But it, this is my fight Alzheimer's. You know, we're right in the middle of our Alzheimer's event. So um, it happens June 17th. For you guys that don't know by chance, it's my fourth year to do a um, art and craft event. We have creators going live all day long on the 17th. We have Tr Sweet Tracy is hosting as well as the Take 5 group. Of course, my groups will be having the videos in there. So lots of places you can get inside to watch. I'm going to get a plain background on this because the star of the show is coming. So we're going to do the back when you know the back when you see the background is plain, you know something is going to happen because I want to keep it um Edie, Edie, is that how you're saying it, Edie? I absolutely will. Thank you. I um and for anybody who might be new to me, my name is Deb. I live here in South Fort Worth. Um, I always say Fort Worth just because everybody knows that's, you know, everybody knows usually where Fort, Fort Worth is on the map. North Central Texas, and I've lived in Texas almost all my life. We were in Oklahoma for a few years while my husband pastored there, and we had one child born as an Oki, and the rest are all... Texans through and through. So let me know where you guys were born. I live very close to the hospital I was born in and I actually worked there for a long time when I was an adult. So um, we always kind of come back home, don't we? A lot of us do anyway. I'm just mixing this really pretty buff color. It's called natural buff and I'm just mixing it with some white to lighten it up a little more because I really, like I said, I want our our showstopper to take all the attention. So this is a four by 12. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Kelly. Thank you, Donna, for sprinkling. Okay, Edie. Love it. I love nicknames. I, I 
I kind of give people nicknames. I don't mean to, but, you know, like if your name's Lisa Ann, I'm probably going to call you Lisa Ann instead of just Lisa. I just, it just happens. So everybody can correct me if you don't want the nickname I give you. You were born in Shred, I don't know how to say that. Shrenectady, Shre my, my brain won't say it. I'll have to look at this after and be sure I can sound that out because I don't know how to say it. Shrenectady. Is it Shrenectady, Debbie? <laughs> That's a tongue full for me. Anyway, I was saying we have a great lineup. We have so many fantastic presenters from Craft Around the Clock who are going to be a part on the 17th. And um, my mom suffered with Alzheimer's. Her, Both of her parents did. She moved them in with her and cared for them. And... Um, until they passed and and it is so so hard so I am very grateful to the Alzheimer's Association for all of the educate can y'all see good night y'all somebody tell me if you if I'm ever not showing the project well I feel like my desk is moved maybe somebody moved oh I bet Ron moved that when he fixed my my light the other day can y'all see okay huh I feel out of sorts now. I hope y'all been able to see. Anyway, hi Marie. Your name name's Ree. I didn't know that. I didn't. I always call you Marie. Well, I love Ree. Okay, got it. Born in Illinois. So anyway, um, the Alzheimer's Association has amazing information on their website. It's alz.org. Very simple to remember. And I've got a private group. It's free. You just need to get inside. The reason that many of us make them private is so that we can kind of vet who comes in. We do not want weirdos. We don't want people harassing you. So by making it private, you know, they have to answer questions to get in. So that's why we do that. And so, oh, a little leaf from my little project the other day fell in. But that's why you have to answer questions to get in. But anyway, so it will be hosted there, it will be hosted in Craft Around the Clock, and it will also be in Take 5, their group. So, um, lots of fantastic creators. If you see one in here, or if you are a Alzheimer's creator for the 17th for my event, please put some purple hearts or let us know so everybody can see you. I see Dina Ray, and she is one of mine. She just had an amazing auction. Uh, her and Kenny are some of the most generous people. You know that if you know her. Um, and I'm so grateful that we have so many sweet people willing to help and give and donate. Um, there's another event on the 21st going on that Sonia is doing. So you can also take part of that. Lots of people um, are kind of helping with this because so many, it affects so many of us. You know, there's almost just nobody. Maybe I should use the tracer I have. I think um, this, the tracer I have that I made a long time ago is smaller than this. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna just draw her. It's very easy, but I am gonna draw her towards me instead of towards y'all just because I don't want to mess it up, you know. It's one of those where it'd be easy for me to make this wonky and it may still be a little wonky but we'll we'll do it together how about that um, so hopefully some of our pre presenters will be popping on in our lives and letting you know but you're gonna start really seeing a lot of things and um, my if you click on the link at the bottom here, and there may be a little um, chain link, or you may see the link, I'm not sure. But if you click on that, you'll be able to go, uh, I believe it's to my website, and then from there you just click a link to go. We would love for you to donate and help. I'm dying to reach my goal. I really, really want to reach it. It is such a passion of mine. Of course, all the ladies are going to want to reach their goals. So... You, if you can give five dollars, do it. You know, just any amount helps, and there is no amount too small. I'll tell you that. 
So $5 is the Alzheimer's minimum, you know, because I guess they just set a certain minimum. So that is more than enough. You know, if everybody did $5, think where we'd be. Okay, this isn't perfect, but like I said, um, I'm gonna prob I just don't see my eraser. I'm kind of like, where is it? It's all I always keep it right here by me. So I'm sure it is covered up. So I can't erase, can I? Let's see, here it is. I actually put it in the drawer, but I try to keep it out handy. Okay, so close enough. We just have a simple little lady just started. Um, her, she's gonna be the star of the show here. So I'm gonna get out a couple of purples. Hi, Emma. You guys, if I've missed saying hi to you, I will go back because it bothers me when I miss you and I'm sorry. Sometimes I'll see that you are here and, and I just feel so bad. Oh, Tanya, thank you. I'm glad Spain is present. So I've got a couple of, I'm calling it purples, you know, purple is kind of, there's lots of different shades of purple. So I've got a purple and kind of a pink, but I'm gonna take that dark purplish color and we're gonna just start getting her dress. Now I'm not gonna stick exactly to my, even to my sketch, but it, I kind of have to sketch something to, you know, somewhat stay in form here with how I want this to look. So when I make a tracer for you guys, it will be much more, you know, correct. I'm just gonna let her dress kind of flow down here at the bottom. I'm hoping that I have time to show you how I'm gonna embellish this. So if I can stop talking so much and paint, but we're just filling it in with a round brush so that we can make our curves easy. You can use any brush you like. Thank you, Teresa, I like it too. Hi, Sherry. Sherry, where's your frame? I don't see it, but Sherry is one of our Alzheimer's presenters on the 17th. I'm so happy to have her. I think this may be the first event you've been in of mine. I don't do as many events anymore because I am really focused on my private group. Um, but I really love events and collaborating with everybody. And I've, uh, you know, I've been asking for help for a long time, but you know, not everybody sees it. So I apologize if there's anybody who was like, oh, I didn't know. I've just, I've been talking about it for a while and uh, sent out a lot of emails about it. And unfortunately, not everybody gets the email or sees the email. You know how that is. We don't, there's a lot of emails I know I get that get missed. So anyway, I am excited. And if you were wanting to be a part and you didn't get to be, just know that I will have a cancellation. It always happens. Something happens. I've already had a couple. So if you really, really have a connection to Alzheimer's and you want to be a part and you didn't know about it or something, send me a message and I'll do my very best. I really almost made it two days, but I think that between Sonia and I, we can get most people a spot, surely, um, that want to do it. So Oh, okay, Sherry. So first with Alzheimer's. Okay. Yes, I, I knew. I knew that was what it was. I just, when I get, when I go live, I don't know, my brain, it can't multitask multi very well anymore. <laughs> Anybody else have that issue? Thank you for the stars. I see somebody sent me stars. I'll go back and see who. Oh, would you? Listen, um, please send me a private message. I actually tried to private message you and could not find a way. Do y'all ever have that issue? I don't know if it's because I am, y'all, I hope y'all can see better than me. Is that better? That's what's in the way. Okay. Um, I go to, to send a message to somebody and there's just not a button to message them. So, I apologize, y'all. I've got a I've got a drink while, you know, so much talking. We just have to every now and then, and I apologize. Stopping the show to take a sip. I'm just going to do in some shoulders here and her little arms. 
with just a little bit of brown added to that um, buff color that I'm using. Hi Lynn, how are you today? I hope you guys had a good Sunday yesterday. If you didn't see my post, it was about rest <clears throat> and I think it's so important. So if you didn't get to rest yesterday, maybe you can take some time today. Honestly, you just have to schedule it sometimes. You know, there's you would be busy 24 seven. So you just have to maybe set an alarm and say, oops, I'm getting purple because I'm not letting this dry in between, but we'll just buff it out here. But sometimes you have to set an alarm and say, I'm gonna take an hour, I'm gonna watch, either watch a creator, I'm gonna take a nap, I'm gonna go outside, you know, whatever it is. For me, I turn everything off and pray. That's what brings me peace and, and comfort and back to the centered place I need to be. So I challenge you to do whatever you need to do to get back in that peaceful mode because the world sure will try to steal the joy, won't it? I'm going to go to a little bit smaller brush and get in here and get her neck and her face. Hi, Barbara. Yeah, Patty. So I guess we have to go, sometimes you have to go to the person's, you know, uh, or unless y'all know a trick. Hi, Pam. Um, who said that? Hi, Trisha. Purple's your favorite color. It is definitely one of mine now because of Alzheimer's, um, you know, their color. And and it, it's definitely one of mine. So anytime I see something purple, it catches my eye. It's a beautiful color. And I, I just really, you know, I really do empathize with you guys who may be going through taking care of somebody or even the very, the very diagnosis. You know, it seems like I have people will message me every year and say, I literally just found out that my mom has Alzheimer's. And um, I hope that you have a strong network of support. But if you don't, I promise you I'm here for you. Let me know. Let me know how I can help you. If you just need an ear, I'm here because it is not easy. It is very hard to go through the tough times and you do need support. I promise you, you've got to have support. And in my opinion, there's nothing better than somebody who'll pray for you because that's where our strength comes from. You know, I, I once I realized I have... You, you have zero control over day to day. Um, no matter what, none of us have any control. And so recognizing that God's in control and just asking him for, you know, strength to get through every day is all, it'll change the game. Okay, we've got our base of everything down. Thank you, Sandra, for sprinkling. I'm going to give her some brown hair. Switch to your personal page, Marie. Uh, you guys come however you want to. Doesn't matter to me if you come as personal business. Either way, um, you can always just do whatever you want. I do not have any preference. I know that some people, you know, and it probably is true that it will hurt a little bit if you come in, but it doesn't matter to me. You come however you want to. And that is perfectly fine. I really like to give people shout outs, but see, as I just hardly can look up to get done in 45 minutes. So you guys shout out yourselves <laughs> and let people know what you're up to. And Okay, getting our hair down. I'll hold this up a little bit later here um, once I get a little more done. So just, you know, this is literally just base coating our girl. And I'm going to go in here and grab this kind of a cinnamon color. It's called Raw Sienna and give her a few highlights. Just a small detail brush and just kind of brush that in like so. Okay. Now we've got that much. Oh, Stephanie, listen for real. Hi, Carol. Hi, Ari. How are you? Um, you guys, 
I would do anything for any of you. I just, it really is uh, a cruel disease. It, it's, it, it's very stressful to go through. Um, you can do anything to her dress. If you want to put flowers on it, if you want to put swirls on it, you know, um, there is, I'm going to be covering this up is why I'm just kind of giving you some ideas of just giving it some pretty colors in there. You could add all kind of colors in. This is just that pretty fuchsia I love to use. It's called Vivid Violet. That's not the one I thought I had. Uh, Vivid Violet is I grab because it's more purple. Fuchsia is the color that I use all the time. This is Vivid Violet and just to give it some movement and some pretty color, but we're going to be putting something on here. So color to me didn't really matter. Okay, let's see where we're at. Now, you can come in and give her some angel wings if you want to. Um, we could do that. Let's see what I would do that with. Hmm. Internet issue? Let's see. I'm thinking of the, I think, okay, I think I have an idea. Let me dry this. Oh, I've got to figure out a way to keep this from me having to bend over. Yes, the dress could be decoupage napkin. That would be beautiful. Absolutely. You don't have to paint. If, if Just use the template that I'm going to give you. This is what it kind of looks like, um, but I'll probably enlarge it for y'all. But... Um, take that template you can make mixed media with it you can let your kids color it you can turn it into an angel with wings you know anything okay so here's what's going to make it pretty so you can i've done this before where i use these ceramic tiles and i will give her wings you know like so, and I usually take the time to pick out a couple that are very similar in size, you know. So, something like that. Um, trying to think how they would look best. Maybe, maybe coming from right here. Something like that. But I wanted to do her dress today. So, I'm going to literally cover her dress in this almost like a mosaic. Um, so, some of the dress will show. That's why we didn't have to paint you know you don't have to worry about this is more about the tile and making it look pretty and letting it kind of be the center point and so I will obviously put resin to hold all this on but I think it'll be really pretty let's see Hi, Phyllis. Glad you're here live. I saw you watch the replay of, uh, I think it was the sifter. That sifter was fun to do. I really enjoy doing the vintage and thrifted. And I'm sure y'all saw that, that Tracy's doing another one in the fall like she always does. So that will be exciting. I don't know. You know, she'll have to you know we can't all participate in every one so I don't expect to get to be in that one too but I would love to be but anyway um, they're always fun and so many great ideas as you see I'm just kind of coming through picking up these pieces and seeing what might go where um, they do not have to fit perfectly this is just something fun you can do I bought these in this shape but it's also more cost effective to cut your own but if you don't want to you can buy them like this on Amazon I have the in my Amazon store I do have tile pinned that you can just go and see oh I love that can y'all see that now if I hold it too much this way it'll fall but look at that so do you see why we didn't have to paint much on the dress this is the beautiful part of it but if you don't want to use tile or resin you don't have to you can totally just paint or use a napkin or whatever now here we could put 
you know, we could break up some tile and put there, or you just kind of keep, maybe find a different shape, like so, that works better, and there you go, fill it up. So it's really fun to play around with stuff like this. So you get the look of mosaic. I love that. I, we might even have time to, okay, so I started at 12. So is that right? So we, yeah, we've got plenty of time. See, this is such a simple little project. Thank you, do you like it? Okay, good. Thanks, Michelle, good to see you. Thank you, Stephanie and Christy. Aw, thanks, Shelly. Stinking gorgeous. Thanks, Cynthia. I appreciate you guys. Um, that's okay, Shelly. You keep watching because, and Teresa, I see you're asking about where I got it. If you go to the link below where it says artgracepaint.com, that's my website, and I've got a page that says my favorite supplies, and then you can see what I have affiliates for, or you can go to Amazon, and that's the one that you can... I have different lists that say, um, you know, art supplies or craft supplies or resin supplies. I try to break it up to make it easy, but you just go there and have fun looking and seeing what you see. Now, you can use these also or in addition to. So we could put some of those around. Uh, we'll open them up and we'll just see what we might do because I thought it could be pretty to use these. These, I did remember, I did get these from Timu. So I am an affiliate. I know some of you are not comfortable using Timu, and that is okay. Uh, don't worry about it. You get them on Amazon. But a lot of us creators have talked and done some research ourselves, and we're okay with it. Um, so that's why many of us are using them. But it's certainly not for everybody because we all are different and we can have different opinions and that is totally fine. So Amazon has them and I've also pinned the ones I've bought on Amazon. I never will pin something or tell you to, to try something that I haven't bought. So if you see it on my Amazon list, you know that I use it and I like it. So you could, I like to try to grab a pair of tweezers when I do this so I don't hurt the flower. Um, but you can use these as like wings maybe. You could give her um, a flower crown if they were small like these little ones we could do. Why don't we do that? That'd be pretty. Or you can just put these around the painting, kind of like filling it in like so. Just kind of giving a pretty, something pretty to add to it. And this would be considered mixed media because you've got canvas, paint, dried flowers, and ceramic. So lots of cool stuff. I know, Cheryl, I do too. But I also totally respect people who aren't using it, don't want to use it. That's totally your choice, and I totally respect that. There's a lot of things that people use that I don't want to use, so that's totally okay. No, hopefully nobody has any hard feelings. Um, you know, okay, so just chopped off these little bitty babies, and here's what I, um, I just don't know. I probably could do this, uh, live. The problem is, for these little delicate flowers, what I would do is I would put my resin, and then I would put my tile, I'd put my resin first, and then put my tile, and then once it cures a little bit, so maybe four hours, I'd come in here and just gently plop these little flowers down. So um, if I put them down first, they would just get drenched. They would get covered with the resin. But you could do it after it cures a little bit and it would be so pretty. So see that? Can y'all, I know I can't really hold it up very, very well, but hopefully y'all can see Hi, Ann. Oh, my goodness. You don't have to thank me. It is a, it's my pleasure. I feel like I sound like Chick-fil-A, but it truly is to be here and to show you guys my ideas. And I, I just am happy that some of y'all like it. Some of you love the sifter, which made me so happy because after seeing everybody's amazing creations, I kind of felt like, oh, is this good enough to be in with all these 
you know, true flip, flip and thrifters. Okay, let's do our resin. I think we can get it done. So you need a level that just fell, and that's perfect. Fell right into my lap. You need a cup to mix. You need your two measuring cups. When I make these kits, uh, you get everything in the kit except the resin. So that way you can research and use the kind of resin that you want to use. Now I'll say in my private group, I will send them resin, but it's because I have had more than enough time to train them and teach them and, and give them all the information they need. I don't, I don't take resin lightly and I don't think anybody should, so I don't just send it out to just anybody. I want you people to be sure you've done a little research yourself and know what you're using. Hi Stephanie! How are you friend? Good to see you mama. How's Miss Berkeley? Uh, one of your old videos with her came up the other day where she, oh she's so funny. I had already seen it but I watched a little bit just for fun. Just She's hilarious. She is, oh you got your hands full. Um, okay, resin and hardener. So, we're going to take our delicate things off because I won't drench them in my resin. I will, like I said, pop them down a little bit later. Um, one other thing I wanted to do, I have this out for a reason. Thank you, Sheila. Oh, I know, I do this all the time. Ugh the only workout I get so oh well not really I'm about to get in shape y'all I'm really serious about I've got to get healthy and um, I'm tired of not fitting in my clothes so we're we're about to get healthy over here at the brown house again you know if you're like me and us you go through phases and we've we've gotten healthy and thin and we gain it back and you know, we're getting to the age where we can't afford to be flippant. We've got to take care of our bodies and and um, we want to be around. My husband's a pastor and he has people to take care of. And if he doesn't feel good, that limits what he can do. And I'm the same way. I mean, I feel very much like I want to be here for my ladies. And so we got to get serious. Quit playing around and acting like we're going to live forever. So if y'all have healthy recipes, send them your way. Send them my way. I mean, I need them. And I need I need healthy recipes that are good. That's our problem. We can do it for a while, but then we're like, oh, don't you just want an enchilada? Yes, I do. Okay, let's get enchilada. You know, you just... So I need the ones that taste good but are healthy. So this is my, what I call secret sauce. I love putting on my paintings when I can. It's metallic pearl from Deco Art. I know it's backwards. This is also in my Amazon store. You can see it. And, and uh, it does come in a smaller size, but it's thinner paint, which is totally fine. It's totally fine to use, but it'll be about this size, two ounce. Oh man, I'm going to blow my flowers away here. So I'm going to dry this because you don't ever want to put resin on anything wet. So if I had glue or um, paint that's wet, you don't want to use your resin. Wait till it totally dries. Hi Carol, you need... I know, I know we do. We Maybe we can do it together, some of us. and. Now I've gotten to where I kind of crave water, y'all. Remember how I've been on a sweet tea kick and that's part of why I'm gaining so much weight? Uh, <clears throat> I think I've gotten off of it and I'm on water now, which that's, that was fast because I love sweet tea. You do good, Stephanie. Thank you. Okay, so she's dry. Now, we're going to do this quickly. And I typically will mark my cups but you're going to have, it's a one-to-one -one ratio. You're going to do whatever you do in one cup, you're going to do in the other. So let's see. For this size, I don't even need a full ounce. I can't see. This is a problem with aging, isn't it? I'm going to do, 
I'm actually going to do 25 cc's or 25 milliliters because I think I can resin an ornament when I'm done. I'm going to put the lid on and I'm going to set it far away. You'll hear me say this a hundred times, but that way if the lights go out on me again, Ron walks in here, um, something crazy happens, and I come back to my project, I know which one I've already poured. Because it's happened to me one time where I poured two resins and no hardener. And guess what? The next day my project was just a soupy mess. It will not do a thing. And you've wasted your time and wasted your product. Then you're going to just pour them into your cup. I know Christy's on here, so she probably has my time. But if she has left, I will need a timekeeper. Just because I know I have a watch on, but I like it to be exact. And Christy's my girl. She tries to always help me with that. But uh, we have other VIPs that are always quick to help if she's not here. So appreciate all of you amazing friends. So this is a lot of resin. I'm actually going to get to do a canvas too, I think. A small canvas. Thank you, Christy. You're amazing. Um, so just combine the two into a, a, a separate cup. And then you're going to stir gently. And my joke is, don't whip it like it's a cake batter. Stir gently. You just want to stir it gently. Uh, you'll get less bubbles in it that way. It's very cloudy right now. I don't know if y'all can tell, but it's cloudy. And in the three min when the three minutes is up, it will be nice and clear and ready to go. Use Alexa for timing. Nine minutes, Nilda, thank you. How are you today? I just, I love having all of you here. It makes me so happy. Hopefully y'all are getting to chit chat in the comments a little bit. Three minutes, Kimberly. We're going to stir for three solid minutes. Um, you don't really want to go over by much and you don't want to go under for sure. So three minutes and 15 seconds isn't going to hurt anything, but I try to stick to three. Yes, I only use art resin. I am not an affiliate. I don't get anything at all to tell you all that. So that's why I uh, really want you guys to do your research too because you know for me it is so worth yes I buy the I have the gallons over on my counter and fill up these little ones so they can sit on my desk but um, I buy it either from Art Resin usually right on their website or if I'm in a real hurry or used to be now see Amazon's not the same anymore but when I if I just was like oh no I'm totally out I would do from Amazon but you can go to the Art Resin website and they've got tons of videos, information. Of course, their safety, safety data sheet is right there and accessible so you can see the chemicals that are in it. But it has no VOCs, no BPAs, and um, no COVs, which I cannot pronounce the names for. But those are the chemicals that you don't want going through your air in your home. Now, I still say you want to have ventilation, have a window open. I've got a fan going. Um, I don't have a window open. I just have a fan. But things do give me a headache, but this has never once given me a headache. And I know Christy will tell you, too, because she uses it, that same with her and lots of others that use it just doesn't have any issues. I've did a lot of research, and I've talked about it a lot in different lives that um, there are people who have neurological problems long term from using bad resin, resin that is not safe. They're all going to tell you it's safe. That's the scary thing. So that's why I say please do your research and know what you're letting into your home. Yeah, me either, Deb. Every single time my projects turn out basically perfect other than just the natural things that you're going to have. You know, little particles of dust can get in and things like that. But for the most part, they set up perfect and and I'm just always really happy with them. Hi, Chippy Farmhouse. Oh, Brenda. You guys lift my spirits. I feel like it's t There it is. I knew it. I knew it. I can just tell when three minutes. And it, it's got lots of bubbles, but it's very clear. I don't know if y'all can tell. But now, what I typically do and I guess I'll do it I'll show you the actual way I would do this 
try to keep these in somewhat somewhat of order but I will pour and kind of spread with my stick I don't over pour I don't over use I have the process down to a science of it's called doming where you bring it to the edge and you push with your little stick right to the edge and you stop and it doesn't go over and then it's almost like that's a little barrier of sorts so it will not go past that edge so I don't tape you can tape underneath your canvas you could even tape the sides if you wanted to uh, but I don't have to because I've kind of you know gotten it down to that system and it doesn't go over but when you're starting you're probably going to want to tape because it took me a while to get it I'm not going to say perfect because nobody's perfect but to get it to where I don't have issues and when you're hurrying it's a lot harder to to do it well but I usually can take my time and just get it near perfect now uh, you need something to cover it with while it's curing it takes about 12 hours for a soft cure so I will come in here late tonight or first thing in the morning and it will be you know fine to pick up to take outside and photograph things like that but I won't touch it with my finger because it's still soft enough to get a fingerprint so at that point I'll just put it back down and let it continue to finish curing and it takes three days for a full solid cure it'll just continue to get harder but after that second day it's totally fine I just won't ship it or mail it package it up for a few days like try to wait four days minimum before I'll ship it so I'm gonna stop spreading because you know me I like to get it perfectly to the edges and I'm going to just show you how you just can set your pieces down on top kind of get it back similar to how we had it before it's okay if it's different it doesn't have to be exactly the same how are we doing on time 12:42. we did a lot we got a Hopefully y'all got a good idea here. I do want to ask, um, I'm not pushy about giving at all when it comes to the Alzheimer event, but I do want to say if you're able to do $5, please do the $5. That, I'm telling you, we've got like 100 people on here. If everybody did five, look at, I mean, we can do so much with just very little when we team up. So I would love, love for you to donate if you can. Um, and if not that's totally okay maybe you can spread the event when you see a post about it look how pretty then before we know it we've met our goal I am always just I get chill bumps thinking about it because for me it's such a personal thing having lost my mom to it and my grandparents um, that I always want to reach my goal I just want to so bad and so if you can help at all I would be ever forever in your debt I will happily make you a frame like what I use and some of the presenters are using that look at my eyes tearing up that um, that you can use that says I'm a supporter so if you donate please message me and say hey I want a frame I will happily make you one just send me a message though because not everybody's gonna want one so I'm not gonna just make them for everybody no matter what but if you want one and you donate even five dollars I will send you one and together who knows what we'll do this year but I'm excited and I think a lot of our teammates are excited I know so many have personal experiences I just put that right down the side so since I already got that down the side I will probably um, go ahead and resin the sides and when I do that I will get my finger after I've gotten the top totally finished I'll get my finger in that and just rub it all in the side and I kind of rub it in so I've just got my glove finger just rubbing that resin into the side really well all four sides so there's that I don't usually show that trick but that's how I do that if you want to learn 
more about resin or painting, I'd love to have you in my private group. So that's something too that I fail to mention a lot, but I'd love to have you guys join us. We have a lot of fun in there. Lots of fun. Lots of, we do a painting every week. So there's something every week. And we mix it up. Sometimes we do mixed media. Sometimes we do watercolor. We do a lot of different things. But that's basically it. I will show this to you tomorrow in a photo. So be sure and check back. Be sure and go to Craft Around the Clock to see who's after me. Thank you all for being here. I hope you have a very blessed Monday. And I will see you again soon. Bye, guys.